Good morning, Culpepper. This is uh, Keith Brown, candidate for Culpepper Town Council, and this is uh, Chef Bo asking for your vote because he loves tuna. Uh, we are just uh, wanted to get on real quick. All right, buddy, go. Uh, we just wanted to get on real quick before we went out and continued to knock on doors. Uh, yesterday was a great day. We got out into um, uh, the, the golf course area and began to knock on doors. We were out there for five hours. Uh, what a wonderful community. Everybody was so welcoming with water and wanted to give us Gatorade. And uh, we spent uh, hours at a couple of places just talking to people about the future of Culpeper. And uh, everybody, common sense is that we all love this town. That's why we're here. Uh, so, I, I, look, I live here and I, I want to make it better. Uh, win, lose, or draw, I'm here. Uh, this is my home, so uh, we'll, we'll always try to make it better. So uh, Wednesday night at 6.30 was the forum, and uh, God knows I was nervous. It was, uh, it was intense. First time, you know, running for office and uh, being on a stage with the incumbents and having a large crowd and Jeff Say moderating. Uh, so it was nerve-wracking, uh, but I felt like that we conveyed our message we conveyed the message about water and all the people that stood up for that. Uh, I take no credit for that. I'm not trying to win an election based on water on my own merits, but uh, all the people that signed a petition, all the people that's been going back and forth to the town, um, you, know, you guys get the credit. I, I just want to uh, convey your voice to the town government to say, hey, it's gotta be fixed. Uh, you're raising, you know, utility rates with a bad product. It just doesn't set well with a lot of people. So know that uh, I tried to convey your voice um, at the forum. Uh, I will say that when, when the link comes out to the forum, I'd ask that you watch it in, in its entirety. There were some interesting comments about uh, the water and not having any idea that we had bad water in town. So... Uh, without mentioning any names, I'll let you uh, watch the video and decide uh, on your own about that when you go to the polls. But uh, just know that it's, it's all you guys that gets the credit for standing up and fighting for a better community. So um, we had an opportunity to bring up taxes, which has also been a platform of mine that was brought up. And uh, it was a consensus through the town that a lot of people were... Uh, complaining about what they would call double taxation. I will say that I've used that word because that's how the con constituents refer to it when you write that check. But I also know that we do get services in town and we get services in the county. But if you, um, if you break it down, uh, we are slated to grow in the next uh, five years at about 13.8% growth in this town. And we're at a $46 million but budget for this town. And the amount of revenue that comes in to the town for personal property taxes, tangible property, cars, trailers, RVs, is about $470,000. And, and I get it. I, I can't, uh, if elected, I can't go in and say, hey, town council, let's wipe out $470,000 uh, in, in one year. So a realistic plan would be over a period of five years, um, let's lower it over a period of five years. Uh, and if you break down, so my plan would be if you bought a uh, tangible property in uh, 2020, you wouldn't pay personal property tax, but anything you own prior to that, uh, you would continue to pay personal property taxes on that, on that property. So if you break 470 divided by five years, which I come up with five years because that's normally the life of, of tangible property, cars, trailers, and things uh, before you dispose of it. We're looking at uh, 94,000. Uh, yeah, about $94,000, if I did the math correctly, of, of what we would be losing in revenue into the town and a lot of people were gonna scream, well, we're gonna lose amenities, we're gonna lose services. Well, look, I live here, I don't wanna lose those services. 
Uh, but we can have both. There's no reason why we can't have both. And here's how. If you've ever had the opportunity to, uh, to talk to Paige Sneed, which is the director over economic development and tourism, please give her a call. She is one of the uh, rising bright stars in our town that has a vision for Culpeper. When it comes to the development, she is uh, passionate about what she does. And we talked for like an hour the other day prior to the forum just to see where she wanted to go. And right now in Culpeper, $44.5 million is coming in to the county as a whole. Uh, whole. Uh, it, it isn't broken down just to the town because to actually do that, that would cost about sixty dollars to $80,000 to get that data crunched down. And we don't want to waste that money. But uh, in talking to Paige, she said right now, we have enough tourism to hold the attention of someone driving to our town for about a day and a half, a day and a half. So what that means is that they can come in and they can tour our, our wineries, our distilleries, uh, stay at our bed and breakfast for a night and enjoy our restaurants. Well, we need to get that to two days, two and a half, three, three and a half. And Paige said that, you know, our tourism dollars would, would begin to really generate um, income for our town. So the goal would be if we, uh, over a period of five years, we reduce our taxes, increase our tourism, and then people that are coming in from our town uh, is spending money in our town. It gives the, uh, uh, all the constituents and all the people that live in town the quality of life that we are looking for. Uh, it can make it even better. So uh, that's been my goal. I think that's the best thing that could happen for everybody. Again, we're not trying to cut amenities, and I think that we can have both. There's just no reason why we couldn't if we allow Paige to do her job because she is on top of it. She has a vision. Part of her vision was this. Can we get an RV park in town or in the county? There's a whole tour of people that vacation every year Year, well, actually year round, that uh, go from town to town or city to city uh, using their RV and they stay two or three days and they enjoy towns. We have the culture here uh, to draw people. How about uh, we reach out to a landowner in a county that has a wooded area that would be willing to invest in building a couple cabins or chalets and have people rent them, they make the money but then the town uh, gets the benefit of them coming into our town, spending the money. We need a little bit more nightlife, classy nightlife uh, for the millennials to kind of hold them in town for more than a day and a half. But we're headed in the right direction. It's, uh, I'm just so passionate about it that uh, we're headed in the right direction. Uh, the quality is going to remain the same. It's actually going to get better if we can lower our tax rate, uh, tax base, um, and be able to um, keep all the services that we have. So that's what I believe in, that's what I'm standing for. If you believe in me, please vote for me on November the 5th. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a lot of work, it's been a lot of fun, but uh, I, I'm, I'm the common guy in the neighborhood that just wants to see it better, uh, and I wanna be your voice. So. Uh, win, lose, or draw, if you need anything from me, uh, feel free to call me, 540-270-5188. Uh, you can reach me on Facebook at uh, Keith Brown or Keith Brown for Cup Upper Town Council. Uh, look, I'm getting ready to head out. Uh, we're going to go uh, finish about 20 houses up uh, at uh, Country Club Estates, and then we're going to head over to uh, Virginia Avenue. Oh, one last thing. I know this has been a lengthy video. Uh, I've asked for about $800 so that we can get out about 3,600 texts. Uh, we've gotten five $100 donations, and uh, those people know who they are. We're $300 short to be able to make that happen. So if you um, feel like you want to give, uh, there's a link on my page. It's uh, at PayPal. Uh, so uh, any, any help there would be greatly appreciated. I can get out a text to people just to remind them to vote and to, uh, to, to stand up for what they believe in and, and let's lower these taxes and get better water. 
hey, I appreciate your time. Uh, thank you for everything you've done for me and continue to do. Uh, God bless you and have a wonderful day.